Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I will tell you about adding additional fonts in AutoCAD. So the two basic type of fonts which AutoCAD supports are true type and shape fonts. So the true type fonts are generally the font with TTF extension and the shape fonts are the fonts with SHX extension. Although all the fonts in AutoCAD are fetched directly from the Windows installation and the true type fonts which are present in your installation directory of the window will be used with AutoCAD also. But for shape fonts you need to install them additionally if you want to use any additional font. Although there is a long list of shape fonts that comes ready made with the AutoCAD installation. But still if you have some custom fonts or you if you have fonts which are regularly used in your own company then you can install it easily in your AutoCAD directory and you can use it. So I'll start with the simple true type font which is a window based font. So I have got some fonts on the desktop so I'll first minimize this window and now I'll go to this desktop. Now here we have this play ball font. Now this is the font which is not generally available with the windows installation and I'll install it directly in the window. So in order to install it simply right click on the font and select install. And it's as easy as that. The font is installed. Now let's look at the AutoCAD window and here I will restart the session. So I'll close this complete window of AutoCAD without changing anything and I'll start it once again. So now our drawing is open. Let's use the play ball font which we just installed to make a text. So I'll go to this text drop down and I'll select multi line text and I'll make a text box here. Now let's write the text here. So I'll type AutoCAD 2018. Now we need to change its font. So let's select it all and go to this drop down and let's look for play ball. And here we have it. So we have this new font in our list. And when you select it, the font will be directly applied to the text. Let's click outside and here we have it. So this was quite an easy way of installing the font. Now let's save this drawing. And now let's look at the method of installing the shape fonts. The shape fonts are a little different from these true type fonts and they cannot be directly installed. In order to install them, you need to copy the font file in the Autodesk directory. And the font directory path is located deep within the Autodesk installation folder. So to find out the directory or the path where the fonts are stored, you need to go to the options. So click on this applications button and select options. Alternatively, you can also type OP and press enter for this options window. And now go to this files tab and expand this support file search path. Now when you expand it, you'll see long list of these files. And from here we have this fonts. Now here is the path of the font which is C program files, Autodesk, AutoCAD 2018 and fonts. So let's look at this path. So I'll open the C drive and program files, Autodesk, AutoCAD 2018 and fonts. Now these are all the fonts which are present in our drawing. And in order to install any new font, you have to copy paste new font file. So I'll minimize this folder and I'll also close this options window and let's minimize this window as well. And here we have a new arch style shape font file. So let's copy this one and I'll go to the same folder and I'll paste it. So in order to paste this file, you need to have the administrator privileges. So make sure that you have administrator rights and then I'll continue it and the file is now pasted here. Now select this file, right click and go to properties. And here in the properties panel, make sure that the file has been unblocked. So in many cases, you may find that the file is blocked. So click on this unblock option, apply it. And if this warning message appears, just ignore it and click on OK. And here we have it. Now the font file has been installed. Let's close it. And let's also close the complete session of AutoCAD. And I'll open a completely new session once again. So I'll double click on this fonts file 
and now here we'll add our text so once again i'll go to the m text tool and let's type our text and in this case we'll select our shape font so i'll select the complete text go to the drop down and let's select arch style so i'll go to the top of this list and here we have it so we have this arch style font the shape font and here it is let's click outside to apply the settings and the font has been installed now in both the cases the fonts are not the native fonts of the windows or of autocad in both the cases the fonts are directly installed on your pc and if you transfer this drawing the receiver of this file will not be able to find these fonts and the file may show an error or in many cases a replacement font will be used so if you are transferring this file using e-transmit then make sure that you embed the font in your e-transmit package so to do that simply click on this application go to publish select e-transmit and obviously we need to save the drawing first so i'll click on yes to save the drawing and now click on this transmittal setups modify and here make sure this include fonts option is checked so make sure this is checked it's quite important in order to capture all the additional fonts which you have included now click on ok and you are good to go you can obviously now transmit this package now if you are trying to plot this drawing as a PDF then also you can capture the true type font but PDF files don't support the shape fonts and if you want to include shape fonts in the PDF file you can convert them into geometry so for that I'll simply click on this plot and now I'll select the PDF option here DWG to PDF dot PC3 plotter now click on the PDF options and in this case make sure that capture fonts used in the drawing is selected so using this option you will be able to capture all the true type fonts in the drawing and they will be captured in the PDF file but if you want to capture the shape fonts also then you can uncheck this option and select it now in this case the shape fonts will be converted into geometries and then you can transfer those fonts also so in this case make sure convert all text to geometry is checked now click on ok and you are good to go with the plot you can plot it so this was all about adding additional fonts the true type and shape fonts in your AutoCAD drawing.